Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take you on a little creative journey. So I'm going to start this video showing you a test I did that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. The thought I had behind this project was that I wanted to transfer my print to a piece of glass. So I started out doing the same thing I did with my previous one and that was just by adding some PVA glue to a sheet of acetate. Then after this was dry, I put it in my inkjet printer and printed my design on it. I made sure that my print was fully dry before I tried to transfer it to my piece of glass. So I put some wood glue on the glass and just rolled it out with a paint roller, as you can see here. Then I placed my print with the printed side down onto the glass and smoothed it out with a silicone spatula. I let it sit overnight, hoping it would be dry the next day. When I tried removing the print the next day, I was hoping that the layer of the glue that I printed on would stay on the glass. But as you can see, it didn't quite work out the way I thought it would. So I didn't want to give up and I just went ahead and tried a couple more things. I started with a test on which glue would print the best. The first one is PVA glue. The second one is a kind of Mod Podge. And the last one is wood glue that came out really nice and clear. So I just wanted to show you the difference between these two prints. So this one was done on the wood glue, so on this one, which I thought would look good because it was really nice and transparent. But the second one, so this one was done on the PVA glue and it looks all milky. If you go and look, see this is all milky and this is clear. So I really thought the clear one, this one, would look way better. But if you look at them side by side, and this is just fresh out the printer, it's still drying. This is already dry because I printed it yesterday. But this one, look at all the beading. The ink is just pulling together. And here I've got a perfect print. And you can see it as well on my other designs. The black lines are just perfect. So if you go and want to do this technique, I really think you need a glue that dries matte. It feels like a satin finish, if I may say so. It's soft if you go over it with your fingers. But I really think this is the way to go and not this one. This is the glossy stuff doesn't work. So let's let this dry and we will transfer this one together. So this is the deco glue. So I'm going to try and transfer my design to the glass and this time I'm going to try and use some wood glue. I don't know but at least I can try a couple of different things and see what works the best. And I'm just going to spread a thick layer all over. So I also cut away most of the film that was on the plastic. So the layer of dried glue just so I don't have any excess material that I don't need. I did clean the glass with some alcohol before I used this. Make sure there's no dust on here. I'm just going to carefully try and get the air bubbles to go. Because I can see there are a couple. It feels like it's pretty much on there. I'm not feeling a lot of bubbles on here. Normally if you go over it with your finger, uh, the bubble will make like a clicking sound. And I also think I need to stop rubbing because I can see some of the ink dissolving here. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this will work and let's just let it dry and see tomorrow if we can peel it off in one go. It has been three days and it doesn't seem to be drying so I'm just going to try and peel it off and see what we get. It's kind of what I expected to happen. I think because the glass and the plastic are both not letting any air through, the glue is just not drying. I thought this was just going to be very satisfying. But it also just gave me a good idea of what I can try next. So for this one I want to try a little bit of a different technique. I took the film off. So this is just the glue with the print on it. And this is the side with the ink. And I've got another sheet. And I'm just going to use that sheet to uh, put on top of it when I apply it. So first I want to clean the glass. I'm just using some alcohol. I 
like so. Then I'm going to take my PVA glue and I'm carefully going to put it on here. And I'm just going to spread it all over. So I think that's good enough. When you use these bottles, clean the top before you close them or you will not be able to get them open. So I want to put this on top. So now I've got it on the glue and I want to take this big air bubble away. I'm going to put the film back on top. And use that to not damage. At least that was what I was hoping. As you can see it's rimpling. So it's a good thing I did this test because you can now see that it just needs to be on this film to keep it stretched and straight. And it's actually sticking to the film. Okay, so this does not work. So we'll have to try this one again. Or let's see what will happen. I'll show you just how it turns out. Here it is, the final result, and I'm actually really happy how it turned out. Even though it was a real struggle getting to this point. So what I just ended up doing is taking the sheets off of the acetate and then just cutting them out and putting them in between the glass, creating kind of a sandwich. I couldn't get all the air bubbles out as you can see here, but it doesn't really matter because if you look at it through the glass, you don't even notice. I'm sorry if this was a little bit of a weird video, I had so much footage and part of it lost its audio, so it was really hard to get it edited. But I hope you still enjoyed the video. And for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!